That's Bobby Womack from The Poet 2. And they've all gone. Suddenly they've all gone. Um, HMV had had four or five, I think, of The Poet and The Poet 2, which were re-released in CD format. And they stayed there for ages. I think it's The Ambulance, a movie with um, California Dreaming as part of the soundtrack. Uh, it's all I, it's all I can find to explain this. Uh, so, j- just to say that, although I'm I'm s- suggesting that the the campus and the current model of higher education is is going to change, I'm I'm not opposed to it. I I think the the campus is a wonderful thing. I just wonder about the the continued investment in um, buildings. Um, compared with a lack of investment in in platforms, and I'm, uh, the the drama part of the CD walks, uh, there can be a reality part as as well. You can just have a walk around where the CD shops used to be, um, but if you if you just go there and say, well, um, for example, HMV is the only one selling CDs really uh, at the moment, and the space for CDs is going down all the time as a proportion of all the other things. Um, so what what's likely to happen with um, the student accommodation and all the rest of it? Um, that's that's the, the the logic of it. But I'm I'm trying more on reality because the the we don't know show uh, is a is a reality show. Uh, the, the bits we want to know about is based on something. Um, we know enough to know we don't know a lot. There's a lot more we need to need to find out. So I'm going to I'm going to follow up with a, a, a controversy. I have t- um, done a tweet about this or retweeted it, and it's um, oh this is about yeah the log sheets are coming up. There's bits of mail coming in here. Um, um, the, the 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 login of the form in the studio is is going to all be sorted out soon. Uh, anyway, where was I? Yes. There was a MOOC about uh, controversies with Bruno Latour, uh, France uh, University Numérique, or Digital Digital New- University. They stopped doing it now, but I, I've, I've, I went on a couple of those, and they've asked, they've archived a lot of the material, so I can start again and show the MOOC as a as a controversy. And I should be able to get help from the stand-up philosopher. The, the Woodsif and Deal Theatre, uh, based in the south of France at the moment, are uh, pretty sure they're going to be in the UK in June and in Devon uh, round about July. So I'm going to try and get them on, on to... I'm not sure which show's going to suit, suit them, but I, I'm hoping they'll be back in the Phonic studio and I can ask them... Um, more about Bruno Latour and how you how you set up a controversy. It seemed to be that as, if you could map it and keep track of it, it would sort itself out uh, after a while because um, there's various actors involved in it, a controversy sort of situation, and if they understand the situation better... Um, Thing, things change over over time, so that's that sounds okay, and that that's a way of dealing with with re- reality, I guess, um, because the fiction I've got on top of that is like the CD walk or a DVD walk, or a walk around charity shops where you get a bit of everything, um, or ruins. So. I'm still interested what happened to Peter Horrocks at the Open University. Cause it's, it did seem to me he had, he had a good idea putting energy and resources into FutureLearn. And it, it didn't help him in his, his job there. Um, he, had to, he had to leave it and he, he started up another one. Um, and there's various points of view about the MOOC, about, um, let's say, Coursera had a fairly successful IPO 18 months ago, a year ago, but their, their stock price is down at the moment. Not sure why that is, but I guess that's the sort of thing you could um, represent in a controversy map or diagram 
I've forgotten exactly how you're supposed to do it, but the the, the videos from the course I think are still available somewhere. So um, what I'm, what I'm going to do is try and try and map the MOOC as a controversy. Um, JD might might help me. We did have discussions about the MOOC on the on the Wild Show, so I'll ask him tomorrow what he remembers about the MOOC and how it might fit with any anything else we're talking about, such as just radio. Because there's sort of related discussions gone on with with how radio is affected by streaming platforms, and so forth. Um, the other the other thing, actor network theory. The technology itself can be actors, I think. So things like cassette tape or transistor radio, as a way of building up a more mobile set of media. Um, I th- I'd, 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 again, I'm going to ask the, 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 the stand-up philosopher. So we may do this on Twitter. Um, stand-up thought, I think he is, on, on, on Twitter. Or we'll sort it out when, when they visit um, in July. And uh, so now I'm going to go, go to another, another track. I think, oh, there's, there was another, another, another thing to say about, about all of that. Um, architecture fits into it somehow. I'm not quite sure how, uh, but a couple of things. The, the, the swimming pool is going to be open um, sometime soon, dur- during this month, I think. So the, the, the architecture will be there. And I'm going to try and um, relate that back to a conference that happened last year about urban assemblage. Um, which again, I think it, it deals with these sort of media actor network ideas. Again, I'm not quite sure how, but I'm going to, going to ch- just going to try it out. And um, the the stand-up philosopher's got got a lot lot of um, weight building up on their contribution when we eventually get to talk to, to talk to uh, talk in July. Um, but I'll just try things out ahead ahead of that because. Um, that that conference there's a there's a pedagogy one coming up I think during during late April, uh, which is quite soon, um, and that's that's just to do with how people designing buildings uh, learn from their situations. So that that could include the media in the city as well. I think. Anyway, another another uh, CD. This is this this one isn't isn't new. I found it at the back of a, a vinyl shop in Kendall. Uh, the impressions, uh, greatest hits, of which this is this is one. Keep on pushing. Mm-hmm. 